Today is Holy Thursday. I said yesterday that the season of Lent is over. Beginning today, we start the Easter Triduum, the holiest days of our church year. Today, we begin something very important. We begin a connection with Christ's ultimate passion, death, and resurrection. Let's begin today with understanding what is going to happen, beginning with tonight. This evening, we celebrate the Mass of the Lord's Supper. In 90% of the parishes, it is the only Mass celebrated on this day. That other 10% might be a multi-ethnic parish where it will be celebrated in one language and then again in another. But the Church specifically asks that each community come together at one time to reflect upon what God has given us. What he has given us is twofold, service and the Eucharist. We are commanded in today's liturgy to go out and to serve others as Jesus serve those in his generation. We're asked to be those who heal the sick, clothe the naked. He asks us to be a part of people's lives in a hopeful manner. And the Eucharist. We began this year a Eucharistic renewal. The Eucharist is what gives us the strength to do what we have been doing. The Eucharist gives us the ability to recognize that we are connected to our God. That piece of host, that cup of wine, are not just empty symbols they are the body and blood of Jesus. And when we receive that, we are having Jesus in us. And what a beautiful time to do it as this day. The church invites us also at the end of the day, after we have celebrated this Mass of the Lord's Supper, to come in quiet, reflective prayer. Here at Our Lady of Lords, the Church will remain open from this morning until the end of the Easter Masses. It is a place where we can all come to be with God. To be with our Lord. I encourage you, if you are to be going to the Holy Thursday liturgy, that after it, you do one of two things. One, to remain in the church after Mass and spend quiet time with our God. Or two, do what an old custom or tradition, which is to visit other churches, to spend time in other facility, other churches, at least three in that time following the your mass. It's a time to spend with our God on Gethsemane. The Mount of Olives. Take some time. 
we will return tomorrow to just talk about Good Friday. Good day.